I'm Curtis Smith. We're at Osuna Nursery where we've been looking at trees. We looked at some shade trees that are really well adapted for northern New Mexico. Now we're in the conifers, trees which make you feel like you're walking through the forest. These are excellent plants for northern New Mexico for the most part, but they're good for the whole state of New Mexico. Rick, what do we have right here? Uh, Curtis, we've got a Bosnian pine. It gets about 40 feet tall and it will take minimum temperatures down to 30 degrees. So it takes pretty cold temperatures. So it'd be good way up in northern New Mexico, up on the mountains. So yeah. that's a good one. 10 feet tall. 30, nice. 30 feet tall. 30 that's feet right. tall. Right? That's right. So that's a pretty nice sized tree. Not a giant tree, nope. but really well proportioned to a lot of landscapes. And over here we've got some upright juniper. And these are some that are useful throughout the state. This is good, hardy in the northern part of the state, and upright form is useful for many purposes in the landscape. Now this is what I expect from an upright juniper. Over here, however, is something that uh, is kind of unusual for an upright. And I've noticed it has a spiral form. Yeah, we get these in and uh, they come in like this and an expert has gone with a small chainsaw and taken out everything that isn't spiral and the homeowner can take a pair of clippers and just clip these to uh, keep them like this. So they can maintain that. As it gets bigger, they'll let it get bigger, but uh, they still right. maintain that form to it. That is interesting and useful in some settings in the landscape. And I see you have others, some that aren't spiraled and some that are trimmed to be spiral. And I see over here the Austrian black pine. It's a good, well-adapted tree, especially for lower land type of settings where the ponderosa doesn't do well. The ponderosa does good in the mountains. This has a lot of the appearance of a ponderosa, but it's better adapted to the lowland soils. A good tree. That's a great tree. And a good windbreak tree in many cases. Mm -hmm. now, this one is different. Uh, this is a tanyosho pine. Tanyosho. Right. It's, uh, uh, well, they grow them in Japan, I know, in Kyoto. And this one has a single trunk. And we've also got another one over here that's a little more natural looking. OK, so they're both that's... nice. How big does this get? Uh, these get about 10 feet, 12 feet tall. That's appropriate for a lot of landscapes. And so that looks like an interesting tree to have. Then in here I see the Japanese black pine. And that's a fast growing pine tree. Yeah, the, you can see the candles on these guys are already a couple feet tall. Growing fast. And this grows with a very irregular and kind of twisting form, which is interesting in a landscape. That's right. So this that's... is a good tree to have as well and well adapted here. And lots of forest. It's really pretty in here with all the trees. But I see we're getting close to some of my favorites. The Deodor cedars, one of the true cedars, native to the Middle East, and so it's fairly well adapted to our conditions. Its hardiness, though, is not for northern New Mexico. It'll make it up to That's Albuquerque right. and maybe a little further north. Yeah, about uh, zero degrees it'll take. Okay, so, but this is a tree where the spruce doesn't do well. This will do better, and it has the form of a very elegant looking spruce, very graceful, weeping form. The tip at the top is usually bent over a little bit. So it's a very attractive tree. And I noticed on the tag that it says it's deer resistant. That's right. And that's a nice thing to know for New Mexico. So we need uh, to know that that's good if you're going to have deer problems. But it's still an attractive tree if you don't have to worry about that. I really like it. And there are other types of true cedar. Uh, and look over here. This is a, a Leyland cypress. Yeah, Leylandi cypress. Uh, people use these as windbreaks a lot. They uh, plant them in groupings. Fairly fast growing, very attractive, makes a good windbreak, but it's also an attractive landscape plant. And right over here I see one that uh, well, looks, maybe somebody would think it's sick, but it's variegated. Right. It has a natural yellow color in it. It's attractive, nice to have, and it fit in certain places where mm -hmm. the Leyland might not be just exactly the right plant to have. And around the corner here are the little guys. Now the Mugo Pines. Mugo's a nice plant. Uh, it's a tree, but it doesn't grow tall. These are dwarf and are good for planting around the foundation, for putting along a sidewalk in situations like that. So they're a good one to have, but they do have a little bit of a problem with the pine tip moth, actually a big problem. So this is one that takes some maintenance to protect it from being damaged by pine tip moth. It may require some spraying if it's used. But one of our extension service entomologists is releasing a wasp, a parasitic wasp, that doesn't hurt people, but it kills pine tip moth. So we're hoping that'll take root here and it'll solve the problem here. And behind it, I see the spruce, the Black Hill spruce, Colorado spruce, mm -hmm. and over here, you've got the blue Colorado spruce. Now, these are good trees. When we get into the northern part of the state, these are really good trees. And, of course, people really like the blue of the blue Colorado spruce. And you've got some other little guys here. These are not dwarf, but these are dwarfed by the work of people keeping them dwarfed. These are bonsai. Yeah, these are bonsai that uh, we have here at the nursery. There must be a good... Uh, 
10, 10 trees in here. And we've got some trident maples back here, maybe about a dozen of them. Interesting grove. And we're going to come back and we're going to do a show here on bonsai in the future. It's something I'm looking forward to because that's a talent, it's an art that a lot of people are interested in and don't think they can do it, and I think they can. I appreciate the tour. I like the trees. And I need people in New Mexico to know that this is something they can do. So thank you. Curtis, you're welcome. Thank you.